back in Canada. The only trip north of the border this season for the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup with Elliot Forbes Robinson. I'm Rick Benjamin. The fans always love the weekend here. Under caution, first full course yellow of the day. Todd Burris has to be thanking his lucky stars. Yeah, Burris is going to be really happy about that. On the other hand, Eric Foss, who's built up a lead, is going to be really unhappy this has happened. Should be some fireworks on the restart. Meantime, Brad Rampelberg, who is hoping to be a part of the fun here today. He's third in the championship behind the wall for the rest of this one. He's with Todd. Well, still a smile on his face, and we're happy to see it from Brad Rampelberg. Tell us about that ride. Looks like you clipped the sidewall, and then that sent you hard across the track. Yeah, I think we were uh, we were having a good race. We were back there, I think, fourth or fifth, just kind of biding our time. Um, didn't really have a car. Didn't have a top three car today. But uh, the guys did a great job. Hoover Speed really got to thank them. I, I got to be honest, just a mistake. I turned in too early. I, I don't have anybody to blame but myself. Brad Rampelberg expecting to take the blame for this one, but still a smile on his face, and we're happy to see him climbing out of that car. Yeah, those uh, concrete barriers, when you turn in early and touch those things, it just sends you where you don't want to go. And, and there's nothing you can do, and you're going to go there quite quickly because you're carrying a lot of speed in there. Sure, and, and it's an unexpected thing. Obviously, you lose it, you get offline, and, and you get in maybe in a street course like this, as you mentioned earlier, not a lot of grip if you get offline here. Well, right, and it actually sends you right there. Straight ahead for this series, the final race of 2008 at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. That's the home turf for the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. Join us that weekend, October 17th through the 19th. All right, let's find out more about what happened to Brad Rampelberg's car back downstairs to Todd Lewis. Mark Miller is the engineer on the number 28 car of Eric Foss. Seemed to have a comfortable lead. Everything was cruising along. You probably didn't want to see this caution period now, did you? No, in fact, we didn't want to see it at all. You know, he had a comfortable four-second lead and is loving the way the car handles. And we obviously, we never want to see a competitor in the wall like that. So, um, you know, hopefully they get it going. I'd like to see it end under green. We've had too many end under caution this year. So uh, he's looking forward to going back under green. Key on the restart, though, if they do get going back to green, get that same start he had at the beginning of the race. Yeah, he had a great jump at the start. Yeah, he was really happy about that. And once they started battling behind him, it really made a difference for him. He was able to stretch it out. So he's real comfortable with the car. I think we're in good shape. Thanks, Mark. All right, thanks, Todd. Yeah, Eric's going to be looking for a couple things here. One, get all the uh, rubber scrubbed off the tires. And second, don't make a mistake because he knows he's fast enough. He's just not going to uh, make a mistake so Burris can get by. Safety car is in, getting ready for a restart. Handful of laps to go here at Trois Riviers. Second spot belongs to Burris. The pancreaticure.org blue car, the 56. He's going to try to get the drop on Foss. Single file restart. Here we go at Trois Riviers. Green flag is back in the air. Foss in that green and white machine heading toward turn one. Action all around the racetrack. A lot of drivers getting a jump here. For fourth spot, Christian Frank has his hands full. Foss holds the lead heading toward two. And Foss is doing a good job. He got a good jump at the start. Burris is right on him. And I think that what Burris has got to do here is try and get through the arch really well and get a run up on the straightaway to try and get the braking for turn five. Teammates battling for third. Malkasian, the team owner of Alara Racing. Christian Frank, the 16-year-old, right behind him in fourth. And Ryan Shims, who won at Road America. He's advanced to fifth, his best section of this race. He's made a couple of moves here to get up into the top five. And doing a good job. And we talked about Christian uh, earlier. Will he try and make a move on the boss? And my point, I think he will. I think he's going to make a try. If he can get by him, he's going to try it. Working lap number 31, Todd Burris putting a lot of pressure on the race leader. Eric Foss has led since the drop of the green. Deborah Lott back there and Jim Jordan battling for position. We could see Lott's black car, Jordan's orange car, as they fight it out back around 7th, 8th, and ninth. And here they come in the fight. There's the fight for third. Burris takes a look to the inside. Now, Burris is doing whatever he can. It looks like they're gapping Malkazi a little bit and uh, getting away. So they actually have a two-car fight which means Burris doesn't have to watch his mirrors. He can just concentrate on what he's looking to do to try and get by Eric Foss. Late restart. Oh, is Malkasian having problems? Frank took a look there. Looked as though he might have an opportunity to get by for third spot. White flag in the air. One to go at Trois-Riviers. Yeah, it's all on the line now. And, you know, Eric has been so good and so mistake-free that I don't look to see him make a mistake here now. Burris, who is seeming to be very fast and going to get the toe up the straight, but... We'll see if uh, Eric is going to start taking defensive lines. It looks like he's got a little bit of a lead, enough not to worry about that. Elevan Goulart has come back to sixth position now after that penalty. He was running sixth earlier. He's passed a couple of cars. Jim Jordan there in seventh. Deborah Lott is eighth with the battle up front. Foss the leader last time around. Burris in second. Malkasian trying to hang on to third. Frank is right there. There's Shims in the red and white Airco car. He's fifth. 
Yeah, Christian Funk may want to get by uh, his boss, but you know, the point is, <laughs> is you don't want to take him out. So you're going to be very careful on that. But up front, this is a different deal. These guys are going for points. They're going for the championship. Burst is going to try Whoa! again, just can't get in there in time. And it looks like Eric Foss is going to get this unless he makes a mistake on the last corner. Eric Foss trying to defend the line here. Last couple of turns, then a run to the checkered flag at Trois Rivières. Checkers are in the air. Eric Foss is going to come home the winner. Fist in the air. He wins the Grand Prix of Trois Rivières. Malkasian finishes in third spot in front of Christian Frank. Jim Jordan in front of Deborah Lott for position. And Eric Foss just goes under the checkers and decides to throw a few donuts to the crowd in celebration here in Canada. Right in front of the grandstands. That's a great place to do it. And it's, it's one of those places you do have the uh, boxes up there and a lot of uh, spectators sitting in the area. Eric Foss leads flag to flag, something you don't see very often in the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. We'll talk to the winner next.